or at YouTube. Tim and him wiggling on the wall. Alright guys, here's goal for today. We're gonna get the sub out, all those speakers out. I want to cover the wall with some black sway, as well as that, that panel for the speakers. Just gonna go a cleaner, cleaner, and then I'm gonna put some bedded rod down here at the top on both sides. All right, we're gonna get the batteries out so I can uh, tighten the bolt from the, from the uh, freaking uh, threaded rod to go through the back. Full access to the 2x4s where the uh, threaded rod will be going through. Get them bolted to the box, making it hella strong. So now we have to get that sub out and those speakers, and then we'll get a roll. Guys, as you can see, the DCX LM2 doesn't play around. It's fucking huge. We got the wall, we've got the rod on top, and we're gonna put it down here, to make it even stronger. Got all the speakers out on the rear channel, and we got these big ass bolts out of there that we're holding it up. I see they're fucking long. They go on into the wall. Okay, the red rod is in. Temporarily, we'll take it out, cut it out to link, and then I gotta bolt it in. Silicone at the top one. Make sure we get no leaks. And, um, after that, I'm gonna fiberglass all this with some mat. Brand new day. So we got some padding. I've lost all that. As you can see it, it cracked. So I got the red rod in. Got some bondo back there. Nice and tight. So I'm just gonna put some mat fiberglass all around this on top of the port. A little bit down there. We got some fiberglass. Here's the hardener in there. Where did it go? There we go. All fiberglass. Down there. It's matting. Down there as well. So, I'm stronger than ever now. We got this blowing up because it broke off to the base. Base had problems. You all know how it is. And this is what fiberglass does right here. Where does rock? Alright, you two. I think it teams out. About to put it in right now. Here we got the car all naked. Give it a little wash. So you can see we got some parts swayed up. You can tell it's looking with the sway. Nice black sway. It's looking pretty good, I think. We got threaded rod in the bottom, too. Making it hella strong now. As you can see, and the speakers on top, we got that part all swayed up too. Just gotta cut out the holes for the speakers. So, Alright, guys, get the 18 rounded up. And then we'll put the speakers on top. Back the speakers right now. Just gotta screw that one in more. 
Damn, it's looking pretty damn good. So it's looking, guys. If I continue on the working on the wall and the emperor and all that. So, so we got the subs in. We're putting the tent up here now. Got it all wrapped. So now I'm, I'm just uh, securing up these bolts. Got these big ass sharp bolts. I'm screwing in. I got some washers to help tighten it better. So that's what's looking guys. Looks way better with the black sweater. I got this nice extension here for the drill. So I don't have to use, do it by hand. Do it much quicker with this. This shit used to used to flex with the base. Now with these big ass bolts, I shouldn't do nothing. Anymore. Okay, guys, we're about done with the rear speaker tile. Looks mighty sexy, as you say. Beasts, DCXL 18s. So we got a, that uh, six inch port. It's 10 to 31 hertz. So the port uh, dimensions are six inches by 15, and then by, I think it was 19 deep. So we got about a one cubic feet of airspace. And the box is uh, 10 cubic feet about around there. So it's looking, guys. I like how this looks. We got the black sway up here, too, so it matches nice and good. Just gonna paint a little bit up there, those little foam pieces. I'm going to throw it all down here, I think how it's wrong on both sides. Shit. We got the amp rack cover, some black sway. So now it's resting nice and soft on the other end. That's how it's looking. God, so much sun. Just got to fix up some of that bottom. Got a little too much down there, but it's all good. The speakers up there. I don't know who the fuck did this, but I gotta replace that soon. Put the vacuum on work. Let me try that.